Forum GFD and GIZ organized this national conference on transitional justice in the Bangsamoro to bring together approximately 200 participants from the Philippines and other countries. GFD and GIZ understand that the whole of a society approach is needed to contribute to healing and reconciliation. We are not uh, losing our hope in creating the mechanism by legislation. We know that in order to sustain our effort in, in relation with the transitional justice and reconciliation, it should be through legislation. It should be passed in the Congress. We as a peace building organization recognize a fundamental role that transitional justice plays in ensuring a sustained just peace. In the interim years, the role of transitional justice has never been forgotten and has been kept alive by those motivated to ensure its importance remains at the heart of discussions around the peace process. We are very much hoping that we continue supporting our effort in the creation of the National Mechanism for Transitional Justice and Reconciliation. We can push that creation through our uh, collective effort. Despite all the challenges and the huge stumbling blocks along the way, I think we are still able to paint a brighter future. With your help, with the groundswell support from civil society organizations, from international donor communities, from key stakeholders in the academe, in government offices, by putting up in place a systematic and comprehensive and independent transitional justice mechanism. There is hope for the future. To overcome challenging times like this, peacemakers have to be very courageous. Keep their heads up. Hope is a must. We have to find uh, alternative ways how to deal with difficult topics from our past. I, I'm not saying that we shouldn't uh, use transitional justice and pressure them, but alternative and plan B always have to exist and it has to happen simultaneously with pressure to, to have transitional justice. Films can be considered as one of the key levers of transmission of messages and meanings in modern society. Transitional justice processes will have a strong rapport with films because with the advent of digital technology, films are much easier and cheaper to produce. And they can now be easily distributed in both private and public venues. Rebuilding the relationships between the Bangsamoro and the central government or the people outside Bangsamoro but I think it is also equally important that we also rebuild the relationship and understanding of having a collective memory, a collective understanding within the Bangsamoro. We believe that the responsibility to pass a law for transitional justice and reconciliation belongs to the national government as provided in the comprehensive agreement to the Bangsamoro. But we are still passing the regional uh, TGRC. If there is a harm done, it must be repaired. And this is where the concept of reparation comes in. If we see small lights at the end of the tunnel, that's still light. We can consider that as light. As long as there is light, we know that something will happen. Some, the brighter day will come after that dark. Young people are talking and also concerning and doing their work for transitional justice. For young people, transitional justice is both a process and result of healing and reconciliation. The positive side of the coin is we see people continuing to assert and pushing for the creation of the mechanism. This is important that we have this consistency. This is the right time. And I think we, we are on the right track. We keep on pushing. This conference was conceived as an opportunity to create an additional space for discussion 
on transitional justice in the Banks of Mora region. Our intention was to bring a diverse reflection of those who have responsibilities for, but also those who have been most impacted by conflict and are also impacted by TJ. What we are looking now is to find meaningful champions in the national government who really have the heart in pushing through in the agenda of the transitional justice uh, mechanism. There is a great need for an effective and resilient transitional justice legal framework, one that will empower the state to address legitimate grievances and correct historic oppression, injustices, and the marginalization suffered by our brothers and sisters. There will definitely uh, be a prioritization and statement looking at how the UN will support durable solutions for IPs and IDPs. There can be no hope of achieving lasting peace without the justice being long sought by our Kababayan in the Bangsamoro.